When I was preparing for Marika, I have a friend. I had a friend in mind, and um, when I would be going and having my nails done, a la Marika, which is something that Sue would not do usually, um, I would spend quite a lot of time just contemplating the role and the impact that this film is going to have and how my Marika will feel seeing herself and her life and her story being portrayed. I just felt that everybody was very giving. It was so easy to work with them because you were allowed to make a mistake and nobody really made you feel completely foolish for doing that. And um, I think anyone who's ever met Albert will just know how absolutely hilariously entertaining he is. And I think from the minute I met Albert, we had a wonderful connection. And we really agreed on how we were raising our son, which was great. I think that there was an automatic connection okay. for us as a family. I think once we'd read the script, and made some decisions about our characters. I think that the when we got together as a family, that all fell into place. I think some of us, we, we have elements of our character within our own personalities and that made it very comfortable for us as actors to take into our roles. And when we rehearsed, I think we had so much fun that we could really do the Root Family holiday as a movie. You know, I think we really enjoyed spending time together. Do I have to say how jealous I was that I didn't get to go to Cannes? <laughs> um, I think I spent the entire two weeks on my computer, Googling Squinhead, Googling Can trying to see what you guys were up to. I think my family were like, why are you smiling so much? And I said, you don't understand how exciting it is to feel part of a project that is part of you that is so big. It's such a momentous thing. And, um, you know, I, I just, it, it took a lot of self-control not to go onto Facebook every five minutes and go, we're in God! <laughs> Um, I did a little bit of that, I must admit. Um, my, my feeling is, is that I think that a lot more people will identify with it than we will ever realize. And that part of it makes it very, I'm very excited for people to see it. But I have warned my friends, I've said to them, you know, don't go expecting moonlight and roses. I think you are going to come away from this film thinking and thinking just about how society has made it very difficult to be a male in this country, particularly. I think that it's something really worth going to experience. There are fantastic movies that are being made, and this is one of them. And the movies that are just a little bit deeper, that are a little bit more layered, a little bit more textured, those movies are starting to come out now and I think this will be one of the front runners of that type of movie. And I think that South Africans need to start growing up in terms of the material that they go and watch. You know, it can't always be Fast and Furious, you know. Um, so I think that, that South Africa is ready for it. I think we're ready to face these things and the challenges. And I think that we need to become a more discerning audience because our movie industry is growing. And the caliber of movies is coming out of this kind. It's, it's food for the soul. What do you, 
Ich soll mir nicht mehr ein Kopf Ich habe ein paar Bier Was willst du da hin? Wo Ja, unser Brei. Okay, I'll come. Thank you for helping me, Christian. It's not a problem for us.